Hey, Peace Collective, this is Candid Screen. I am back with you on day 22 of our journey through the devotional Inhale Peace. I know that the days are going by so fast and that it just seems like we just started, um, but we are also on week number three. Can you believe it? We have gone through uh, two weeks of this. We're starting week three, and I'm just happy that we are going along on this journey together. I'm back in Queens and you're gonna hear some airplanes going over. I can't help that but I wanted to be outside to connect with all of you. Um, so I appreciate you. I really do. All of your comments, the things you've been sharing, um, how you've been sharing your post of taking the, the devotional with you on your uh, special self-care days, um, on to brunch with you, uh, to all the different places where you're going, you're taking Inhale Peace with you. And so I just really thank you. And from the bottom of my heart, my spirit is full, and I am just really thankful that um, my Peace Collective is here with me and that you are enjoying this process and this book. So thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Um, so before we jump into day 22, we're going to do our peace break. So let's close our eyes and inhale peace. And exhale fear. Inhale peace. And exhale anxiety. Inhale peace. And exhale stress. airplane so how many of you have ever felt guilty about something something you did to someone something you said something you knew crushed someone um, something that just when you think about it, it makes you cringe just at the thought uh, of what you've done something that really over the years you've never forgiven yourself for that you have allowed the enemy to use to create a border between you and God. I've been there. I know we, all, we have all been there. Um, but on day 22, the scripture says, Though the mountain may be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion for you. From Isaiah 54:10. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can do to separate yourself from God and the love that God has for you and the peace that he has for you. It doesn't matter what it is. There's nothing that you can do that will make God turn his back on you. Now that says a lot because we as humans are extremely judgmental. We are extremely judgmental and uh, unforgiving. Not only that, we don't really practice unconditional love. Loving um, someone good or bad. Loving someone through, through it all. Um, and really not judging what they go through, what they experience, how they experience things. We're very judgmental uh, people. And so we don't understand how, if we're judgmental, we don't understand how God could love us despite the things we do because we don't feel worthy of God's love we don't feel worthy enough uh, to accept his love for us that's why that guilt settles in and those feelings of unworthiness begin to uh, really grow a uh, root within us and then God has to work to un undo all that stuff uh, that we tell ourselves and that we begin to believe about ourselves but there is nothing that we can do that will separate us from God's love here it says in the text now is the time for you to let go of the guilt from what you did in the past release the shame you've been harboring since you were a child stop beating yourself up over what you did or didn't do thoughts you had or trouble you got into stop thinking god has turned his back 
He has always been there waiting for you to come back to him. He loves you and there is nothing you can ever do to change that, regardless of what you have done, what you've said, the situations you've caught, you've been caught up in. All of those things create your testimony. Those things create the testimony that will bring people uh, into the fold, into relationship with God. See, now, now that you understand how God operates and how God loves you and how God um, will do anything for you, you can share that with someone else. They will look at you and say, what? You used to do such and such. You used to be our this and that person. Yes, I did. And look how God changed my life around. And if God can change me, he can most certainly touch and change you. And so that is the lesson for today. I know we all walk around with so much guilt, so much shame, so much, so much so that we forget about uh, being in relationship with God because we're afraid that he's turned his back on us because we know how we would turn our back on someone else, on our loved ones or our friends. Oh, but God is not that person. God is not a person. God is our God. And God teaches us how to love. He teaches us how to forgive. He teaches us not only how to love and forgive others, but how to love and forgive ourselves. It is time for us to love and forgive ourselves for whatever it is that we have done to ourselves and to others. Um, because God is ready for us to move into the purpose that he has for our lives. And he can't do that if we continue to harbor that guilt and that shame. Let it go. It happened in the past. God has a bright future for you, but he can't move you into that space until you release the past. He can't go on and move you to the next level until you let go of what happened in the past. It is over now. You are a changed person. God has um, created a new person in you. You are now sitting in new wineskins, not the old wineskins of the past. It is time to let go of those things so God can move and operate within you. I know you can do it. And if you need a counselor or a therapist to help you, then do it. Go find that counselor and therapist that can help you to get through all that stuff, to get it out of you so that you can be clean, so God can create a clean heart within you and you can move on to doing the purpose work he has for you because somebody in your past who you were running around with, playing around with, doing whatever with, needs to be delivered and they need to see you. They need to see God deliver you and once they see God deliver you, then they will know I can be delivered too. That's the lesson for today. Let go of the guilt, the shame, and the disappointment that you have with yourself. Forgive you because it's time to move on. God has some great things for you. I do hope this resonates with you. Share it with your family and friends using the hashtag inhale peace day 22. 22. Um, if you don't have a copy of the book, inhale peace. Um, a 31-day journey to realign with God's complete peace. Check out my website, cherishflight.com, and click on CF Shop. These airplanes. Woo! Click on CF Shop to order your copy, cherishflight.com. And if you don't have a copy of the Peace Break card, you can head over to my website, cherishflight.com, and download your free copy on the link that says um, Peace Breaks. I'm so happy you're here with me. We're almost through this thing. We're on day 22. I'll see you tomorrow for day 23. And in the meantime, may the peace of God settle into your spirit.